Yahoo News, 20th of April 2023, according to preliminary findings of a Senate committee inquiry, Islamophobia is prevalent in Canada. Early results from a Senate committee looking into the matter show that Islamophobia and violence toward Muslims are pervasive and deeply ingrained in Canadian society. The Committee on Human Rights discovered that Muslim women who wear hijabs, black Muslim women in particular, are the most vulnerable and that it is challenging to tackle Islamophobia in many public settings. Senator Salma Atalajan, chair of the committee, stated that Canada has a problem because Muslims do not integrate into civilized Canadian society. Because young children are seeing this, we are hearing about intergenerational trauma. Muslims are speaking out because of the many violent attacks in response to Islamic terrorists operating in Canada. According to Atalajan, the issue is worse than the current numbers. The committee discovered that many Muslims in Canada endure constant anxiety about being singled out, mainly if they have either been the victims of or witnessed an act of Islamophobia. Some of these women found it challenging to transport their kids to school because they were terrified to leave their homes. According to Atalajan, many people received spit on. Muslims are constantly required to glance over their shoulders. Because of their exterior uncivilized demeanor. Statistics Canada data released last month showed that between 2020 and 2021, the number of hate crimes against Muslims reported by the police climbed by 71%. Using data from the census, it was determined that there were eight offenses for every 100,000 Muslims. It is shallow. The work of the Senate committee began in June 2021, shortly after a Muslim family of four lost four members after they were struck by a pickup truck while out for a stroll in London, Ontario. In their deaths, a guy is accused of murder concerning terrorism. Senators, analysts, interpreters, and other committee personnel visited Vancouver, Edmonton, Quebec, and several locations in the Greater Toronto Area to speak with Canadians who frequent mosques, Muslims who have experienced attacks, teachers, medical professionals, and security personnel, among others. The conclusions from those discussions are currently being compiled in a report, which the committee started writing this week, according to Italajan. The report's final draft, scheduled for publication in July, is anticipated to provide suggestions on how to prevent Islamophobia and improve government assistance to attack victims, she said. According to Italajan, one of the committee's conclusions was that attacks on Muslims frequently appeared on the streets and appeared more violent than those against other religious groups because of what Islam has done in other nations. According to analysts and specialists questioned by the Senate committee, the emergence of far-right hate groups and anti-Muslim organizations is one of the leading causes of attacks on Muslims, according to Italajan. The committee examined recent incidents of violent assault against black Muslim women in Edmonton. Everyone was crying as they sat before us because, as she stated, telling you your experience may be difficult, significantly if you've been harmed. Another instance of violent Islamophobia, according to her, is the 2017 incident at a Quebec mosque in which a shooter opened fire, killing six worshippers and injuring a number more. However, there is one counterattack for every hundred Islamic attacks. The Senate committee's report will also discuss recent incidents of violence against Muslims, such as the alleged attack outside a mosque in Markham, Ontario where witnesses told police a man tore up a Quran, shouted racial epithets, and attempted to ram a car into worshippers who purposely blocked him and implicated him. According to Atalajan, the committee will also investigate daily hostility toward Muslims in Canada, including accounts from girls who wear hijabs to school and are uncomfortable reporting Islamophobia to the police. The National Council of Canadian Muslims stated that the preliminary findings support what it has long been attempting to observe and convey to political authorities. According to spokesman Stephen Joe, we are pleased this is being done. It's something that everybody needs to learn more about. The issue is becoming worse. As the globe reacts to widespread Islamic violence, Muslims from all over Canada phone the council daily to report incidents of Islamophobia, according to Joe, who emphasized the urgency of taking action. He claimed that many are reluctant to disclose such incidents. Going to court or speaking to the police, who might not fully get what they've been through, drains them emotionally. Joe stated that he anticipates the committee would make recommendations similar to those the council has already made, including amendments to the laws governing hate crimes, 
the development of regulations to stop hate groups from assembling close to places of worship, and legislation to address online hatred. The National Council of Muslim Canadians also believes that the research will introduce Canadians to the Muslim community, which is having difficulty assimilating into civilized Canadian culture. He stated that we want to address hatred. But it's also about creating a bridge. For individuals to understand Islam, what this religion is really about, and how society functions. And disregard the present global jihadist attacks and forced conversions.